सुनाई देते हैं ना दिखाई देते हैं सिर्फ एक मुल्क का नाम सुनाई देता है Swati PS from class 9C cheerfully welcomes you all to the colorful era of the assembly organized by class 9C look up get up but never give up this is a famous thought that circulates the whole world carrying the theme of sports sports is a dynamic and an exuberant entertainment firing our thoughts spirit and our soul is it agreeable yes it is which sport stomps your brain football or cricket hockey or tennis badminton or athletics whatever it may be it is to be said that the sport personalities involved with it provides you the real vibe motivating the globe unanimously for those sports sport personalities and the sport lovers august 29 is celebrated as national sports day this is also the birthday of dhyan chand a famous indian hockey player It's time to raise the curtain. I gladly invite you all to the fun-filled program of National Sports Day organized by Class 9C. More to learn and fun to learn. Before we begin, on behalf of Central Field School, from the depth of my heart, with full of integrity, an ethical and a moralistic salute to all the sport players. Watch and enjoy. Hey Rahul, take this. I'm not the mood right now. Get in man. Let's just swarm up. Are you going for a football match or something? Why are you talking like this? Do you know today's importance? Yo, what's so special today? Man, today is National Sports Day. Oh yeah, every year India celebrates National Sports Day on August 29th. Do you know why, Shalom? Yes, it is the birth anniversary of the great hockey legend, Major Dhyan Chand Singh. Sports Day is also celebrated to bring awareness about being fit mentally and physically. Not only fitness level, it also gives us an idea about teamwork, positive energy, spirit, enthusiasm, and lot more. Today, we students of Class 9C from SSS are celebrating National Sports Day. Come on, let's enjoy the show. Thank you, Shalom and Rahul. Now let's know more about sports from a presentation. Do you know about Olympics? Olympics? What is that? Well, I have no idea either, and that's why Cyril is here to help us. Hello, everyone. Do you know what's today's speciality? Yes, as you all know, today is National Sports Day, and on this special day, I'm here to tell a few words about the world's foremost sports competition, the Olympic Games. With more than 200 nations participating, it is held in every four years. Ancient Greeks loved competitions of all sorts. Each year they sent athletes to the festival of games which was held in honor of the gods. In them the most important and prestigious were the games held at Olympia which were held to honor the king of the gods Zeus which resulted in the formation of the ancient Olympic games. It was held in between 8th century BC and 4th century AD. The ancient Olympic games were religious athletic festivals. The origin of the Olympics is still covered in mystery and legends. So hope you all understood. Thank you. Thank you Cyril. Hey, you are breaking rules. You are the one who is breaking the rules. Hey, what are you both fighting about? He is breaking the rules. No, he is. Hmm, this is getting out of hand. Anil Lakshmi is here to tell them about the rules in sports. Do you know what are the rules of sports? First rule: Don't argue with the referee. Referees should be shown respect at all times before, during and after any sporting event. Second one: Listen to your coach. In any sporting event the coach should be seen as the boss of all the players. Third one, take health and safety seriously. It's not a good idea to push yourself through pain or discomfort. Being an athlete requires you to have a long-term vision of your future self. Fourth one, be a team player. Players should always show respect to their teammates and never try to show them up. Fifth one, enjoy the wins and learn from the losses. Sports as well as life are made up of small wins and moments. The small victories are what truly really build up to the final product and what leads to the bigger things that make. Thank you Ananya Lakshmi. Now we have Anmiri, Anamika and Ajmal with a lot of information on sports and sport personalities. Namaskaram. Inna August 29th. Deshiya kaayiga dinam enna arippadum. Patrathil oru manushindeyum sradha nedana etuvum highlight cheyapetta tharakkattigal sportsine kurichana. 
നമുക്ക് ഈ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട നൽകുകൾ നോക്കാം അഭിമാന സിന്ധു ഒളിമ്പിക്സിൽ രണ്ടു വെങ്കലം നേടുന്ന ആദ്യ ഇന്ത്യൻ വനിതയായി പി വി സിന്ധു അറിയപ്പെടുന്നു വെങ്കലം കൂടാതെ രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനാറ് റിയോ ഒളിമ്പിക്സ് വിജയകരമായി പൂർത്തിയാക്കി ഒരു വെള്ളിയും നേടിക്കൊടുത്തിരിക്കുന്നു ഈ അഭിമാന താരം അതിനോടൊപ്പം ടോക്കിയോ ഒളിമ്പിക്സിൽ ഇന്ത്യക്ക് രണ്ടാം മെഡൽ നേടിക്കൊടുത്ത് പി വി സിന്ധു ചരിത്രത്തിൽ തന്നെ ആദ്യമായി ഇന്ത്യൻ വനിതമാർ ഹോക്കി സെമിയിൽ ലവ്ലി നെക്കി വെങ്കലം ഇതിനോടൊപ്പം ജയത്തോടെ ഇന്ത്യ ക്രിക്കറ്റിലും ഗുസ്തിയിൽ താരമായി രവി അഭിനന്ദനങ്ങളുമായി ഇന്ത്യ ഇന്ത്യക്ക് ഒരു സ്വർണ്ണ മെഡൽ നേടിക്കൊടുത്ത് നീരജ് ചോപ്ര ഇന്ത്യക്ക് മെഡൽ ദിനം കായിക താരങ്ങളെ അഭിനന്ദിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഇന്ത്യൻ പ്രധാനമന്ത്രിയും പ്രമുഖ സിനിമാ താരങ്ങളും ഈ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട തലക്കെട്ടുകൾ അവതരിപ്പിച്ചത് നയൻസിയിൽ നിന്നും അനാമികയും ആൻവേരിയും നന്ദി നമസ്കാരം Thank you Anne-Mary, Anamika and Ajmal. Now we have Elaine who will be interviewing one of the best badminton players on this earth and a beautiful human being, P.V. Sindhu. Sports, you have to be a character. Devi Vile, a very warm welcome to all watching SRCS Class 9C interview. On this auspicious day, we are ahead with a new prominent celebrity. Best time were many good characters for her enormous and energetic performances in Olympics. With tremendous contentment, I invite this Indian woman star, P.V. Sindhu. Ma'am, can you describe for us your journey at Tokyo 2020? So, everybody was geared up, everybody was all set. I mean, I was super excited to, you know, to go to the Olympics and to Tokyo because it was much waited win, like much waited uh, tournament and, uh, you know, already got postponed for a year. Yes, it, this time it's going to be very different where, you know, in this pandemic, we had to be very careful and all that stuff. But when you have that feeling that you're going for the Olympics, I think that Olympic fever is always on and you have that, you know, energy to go to the Olympics. Ma'am, uh, can you say how you get ready for Yeah, preparations were uh, really good then, you know, when we had the opportunity to play in the bigger stadium and of course playing in Gachibawli Stadium where, you know, it's almost like international standards and almost like, you know, how Olympics was, Olympic Stadium was and also the drift control was very important. So we made sure that, you know, we had the conditions and we played in the drift and I had to really control and it took me some time and of course. Ma'am, can you say how you handle pressure in order to fulfill the dream? to win a medal in Olympics? Absolutely, one of the most important aspects is yes, handling pressure because you need to know when to handle and how to handle it. For me especially, I make myself calm, I meditate. So, you know, I, I make sure that, you know, I'm calm and just, just, just focus on the next point and not think about what has happened. And sometimes it happens with me too. So, that is when I think like, it's okay. I mean, it's okay to lose a point and just, just focus on the next one. So, that's how I keep myself calm. Sorry to say, due to some technical issues, Paris is out of line. However, in spite of all busy works, she joined with us. Our heartiest thanks to this talented woman who glorified the name of India upon her success. Hope you all had a great time. We will be back with another rock star. See you soon. And this is Erin Joseph signing off. Thank you. Thank you, Erin. We are also thankful to Sindhu Ma'am for being with us on this special day. Now, let me call upon Tanya to give us some knowledge on sports equipment. I am Manojan today and I am going to share to you about sports equipment in emerging technology. Almost every field today has been affected by technology. Many innovations in the fields of sports have happened because technology has made them possible. In a house or at work, we are constantly bombarded with technology to the extent that today we don't give it a second thought. It is a part and parcel of life. Sports equipment, a relatively young offshoot of technology, seems to be growing leaps and bounds. Sports technology has changed the face of sports as we knew it. The applications of technology in sports facility design has yielded real changes in terms of athlete use, spectator comfort and usable lifespan. Technology has meant that now we can calculate the speed of an athlete to fractions of a second. It has meant that an athlete can now win or lose despite a photo finish. Cameras capturing the images to the second have made it possible to replay every action on the field to enable correct decisions. It has meant that games are now fairer. The element of chance and luck has been removed almost completely. Sports equipment refers to a large amount of equipment which is used in sports. Starting with the bats and balls and brackets to the shoes and socks and glasses, there are a lot of things that come under the umbrella of sports equipment. About 25 years ago, tennis rackets were made from wood, with ash, maple, etc. Leading the way later, in the 60s, metal frames were introduced. Today, composite rackets are the rage because of the efficiency they offer in accelerating the ball across the net and in terms of the dangerous vibrations that lead to tennis elbow. For example, Bobby Riggs with his 1939 wooden racket would have no chance against Pete Sampras armed with an oversized composite racket with an enlarged sweet spot, although Bobby Riggs was an exceptional player. 
The shoes today offer great grip and have better cushioning which helps prevent heel damage. Sports clothing today is made of fabric that is sweat resistant and wrinkle free. The discovery of Lycra has meant that athletes can stretch better, run better and compete better. With fitness having finally moved past the fat stage, no one can truly say that sports equipment is here to stay. Treadmills, elliptical cycles, rowing machines, steppers are the new mantra. Sports equipment for home use is a big market today. Home gyms alone recorded a 30% increase in sale in 2006 over the years 2000. The popularity of home gyms is partially because homeowners prefer to work out at home. Thank you, Tanmaya. Now we have Najda with her captivating session of interesting facts. Hey all, good morning. Today I'm going to show you some interesting facts in sports. Number 1. The five colors on the Olympic ring was chosen because at least one of the colors is present on the national flag of any country. Number 2. Tokyo is the first city in Asia to hold Summer Olympics twice. Number 3. Badminton cock is the world's fastest object used in sport. Number 4. Volleyball players jump about 300 times a match. And number 5. Hockey pucks are frozen before a game to prevent them from bouncing during a play. And that's all. Thank you. Wow, Najda, your work was truly artistic. Keep it up. And now, Amra is here to tell us about India's national sport, hockey. Good morning, teacher and my dear friends. Today, I'm going to talk about hockey. Hockey is an outdoor game played by two opposing teams of 11 players each who use six curved at the striking end to hit a small hard ball into their opponent's goal. It's an ancient game that is played in India for years. Around the world, there are many variations of the game known by the name ice hockey, field hockey, sled hockey, street hockey, and roller hockey. In this sport, the athletes truly have control of the game, which makes it much more entertaining to watch. Ice hockey has become an Olympics, Olympic sport, and worldwide, there are more than a million registered players performing regularly in leagues. It is perhaps Canada's most popular game. The sustained energy and muscular strength required in hockey helps develop fitness and endurance. Today, August 29, it's considered as the National Sports Day, named after the birthday of a maestro, Dhyan Chand, who is a leading personality in Indian hockey magician. On behalf of the memory of Dhyan Chand, I wish you all a very happy National Sports Day. Thank you. Next, we have Swati with a presentation on National Javelin Day and a poem dedicated to sports. <laughs> Sports Day. Happy Sports Day, thousand cries with team spirit and ahead to rise. Tempo, hands and paced up feet, runners energy, fire and heat. Winning sounds and pinky lips with twisting ball and finger tips from one to other. Does it slip and then to the net just by the wise. Rolling and rolling ahead the ground, ball to the post is led by the foot. So many scores are to count for football fans, it seems so stupid. The 6 2 usher now and then for hockey players, both men and women, chase with fast and legs ahead, thus gains the winning head. With team spirit in their head to rise, happy sports day, thousand cry. Thank you, Swati. Oh, and here's Sanjana. Let's hear what she has to say. Greetings, everyone. A healthy body supports a healthy mind, which is the foundation for success in life and work. Physical activities is not only good for your body, it is also great for your mind. Being active does not mean going out for an expensive gym and running marathon. Finding out activities that you like and are able to do regularly is more important than pushing yourself to do something that you don't enjoy. Try to get your body moving like swimming, skipping, walking, dancing, etc. As most of our activities are governed by our mind, it is important to keep our mind fresh, alert and in a positive frame. Mixed martial arts, kung fu, taekwondo, and kalari fight help to strengthen up our mind. All of us must follow simple tips of healthy habits for healthy mind and healthy body. Always remember, eat not for the sake of it, but you nourish your body. Health is wealth. Take care of it. Thank you. Thank you, Ranjana. Hello, I'm Gayatri. I'm here on behalf of all my friends from 9C. I hope you all enjoy our program. Food for thought. Always be sportive. One of the best traits a human being can possess is sportsmanship. It's not about winning or losing, but participation and teamwork. I wish you all to be as active and energetic as now for your whole life. So who among you is the next star? Now it's time to wind up our program. But wait, last but not at all the least, let me welcome our very special guest of the day to inspire you with his motivating words. With a loud round of applause, let's welcome Jay sir to wind up our program. Thank you. Hi children, 
As you know, 29th of August is being celebrated as the National Sports Day in India. It is in commemoration with the birth of legendary hockey player Dr. Dhyan Chand, and he was known as a magician in the hockey field for his achievements and skill sets he had. This day should encourage us to actively participate in sports and games, and I urge you to maintain your physical fitness and health through games, sports, and regular exercises. The biggest greetings I can give you on this day is to request you maintain your physical fitness during this hard period. Wishing you all the greetings of this day. Thank you.